you know, we're going after big crappie. Uh, you're not always going to catch big crappie. You're going to catch small ones, little ones, you're going to catch bass. And we're going to be concentrating on these small lakes here in North Texas. And there's a bunch of them. And I'll tell you the technique we're going to be using, and it's Let's Fish TV. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Check that out. It's time for the only program that brings you real time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Cobia! Big one. And a monster! Look Beautiful. at that! That's a Tawakini giant. This is Let's Fish. Hey everybody, Wally Marshall, man. I'll tell you what, we're gonna be keying in on some big crappie on small reservoirs in North Texas. We're talking about some soil conservation lakes, small lakes, but the history of this is these lakes have been here for years and years and years. And you can fish them from the shore, you can fish them from a boat, depending, hey, they range from 10 acres to 75 to 100 acres on these soil conservation lakes in the state of Texas. So today, we're targeting monster crop. We will have this week's fishing report from your local region from the Insider Reporters. Hey, we're gonna back this boat in and we're gonna get ready to go crappie fishing. I'm gonna get all my gear together. But in the meanwhile, I'm gonna pitch it back to the studio for your weekend planning. Hello everybody. These salooner tables are predicting fair game fish activity on both days this weekend. Peak times begin at 4.37 on Saturday and 5.28 early Sunday morning. Prime daytime activity will begin at 5.03 on Saturday and 5.54 late Sunday afternoon. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 6.22 and set at 8.40. Evenings will feature a moon that is 33% visible. Stay with us, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, Bassmaster Elite Angler Mark Menendez stops by to answer your Ask the Pro questions. It's hard being Mr. Crappie because here it is, Tuesday, Wednesday, middle of the week, going fishing. Hey, it's a great deal. I wish y'all were out here with me. But, you know, in Texas, there's a lot of soil conservation lakes. And if you can get access to some of these lakes, I'm telling you, you'll be surprised at what kind of fish is in these soil. These, these lakes were built back in the 60s. And over the years, you know, a lot of them hadn't even been touched. But if you can, uh, a lot of them you can fish from the shore, the bank, etc. But I'm telling you, there's some big crappie, big bass, big catfish in all these lakes. And we're going to catch some today and uh, show you some monsters. Big, big crappie. Come on, fish, I see you there. Just show me a good time. Oh yeah. Who's your slab daddy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on in here, big boy. Pulling that drag here a little bit. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. Come here. Come here. Come here, big boy. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Man. You know, as I was talking about smaller lakes in Texas, you've got Lake Bonham, you got Coffee Mill, you got all these little lakes, Athens, these smaller lakes, hey that hadn't had a lot of pressure, it's got a lot of big crappie, like this one right here. That's about 13 and a half inches with a big old mug on him. He was eating the little joker there, the who dat, that's the color. So what we're doing here is there's some structures in this lake, natural trees that are submerged, brush piles, PVC, there's a little bit of everything in here, and what I'm doing is I'm pitching at them, and I catch all of them that I'm pitching at that will bite, then I'll get right up on top of it, then vertical fish it. If you'll notice, I've been pitching, 
which is a technique that I like to do with this rear seat pro target is just let her release there, do a pitch or have your drag set to where you can strip out line just and vertical fish straight up and down. The slower you can fish it, the more fish you're gonna catch. So just throwing it out there and trying to retrieve it back as fast as you can ain't always the ticket. The slower you fish it, the more fish you're gonna catch. And yeah, when you're crappie fishing, you're gonna get hung up. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Hey, Slab, come on in here, brother. You got your name. Come on in here. See what I was doing there is I was just slow reeling it, just slow reeling it, and came right over that pile and Kapowee! <laughs> hey, he ain't no monster, but he's a scraper. We're not going to do that today. And and uh, I'll tell you, the lures that I've designed, this sausage pin is an awesome bait. It's got a great swivel, willow leaf blade. I'm throwing an eighth ounce, and it's got living eyes in it. And uh, got it loaded up with a joker right now in the hoodat color. Turn that little boy back. You're gonna catch another. Hey y'all, I am Captain Ian. It's time for your Carolinas Report, brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. My partners over there wanna make sure you live like a local. We got a bait and tackle shop now. Live bait, we've got all your tackle you need. Frozen bait, you wanna take some extra bait when you head out on New Inlet Princess. Stop in before your trip, grab whatever you need. We'll get you out there on the water. And don't forget, fill up that boat with gas. We're gonna fill your boat up with ice. Just stop right at the gas dock and ask the attendant. They'll take care of you. Visit CrazySisterMarina.com. Book your trip right now. And I'll tell you, Hooked on Miracles, KMT.com. You need to go there. You need to get signed up. July 13th through the 15th down at Ripley Light Marina. This tournament benefiting the Children's Hospital at MUSC is second to none. We are gonna have an incredible time this year. We want you to come fish. Lots of money up for state. Want to thank Key West Boats and I want to thank Freeman Boat Works for their title sponsorships and for jumping on board with us. It's an incredible tournament. Once again, make sure you get signed up because the action's hot. And speaking of hot, it's hot right now. On the beach, schools of bait. You got cobia, king mackerel. You got sharks. If you like sharks, we got them. Nearshore reefs covered up with flounder. All our reefs from the Jim Caudill Reef all the way down to Charleston. We've got everything covered up on those Spanish mackerel, flounder. Then if you head out to 80 to 110 foot, my buddy Kevin Sneed at Holden Beach, North Carolina tells me that offshore, the grouper bite has been incredible. He's concentrating in water 85 to 110 foot. He's finding a lot of big gags right now. Get out, put some good live bait on, make sure you got fluorocarbon leader, you're gonna have a lot of action. Hey, this has been your Carolinas Report brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. Remember, fish smarter, not harder. Keep that chaos organized. <laughs> on these soil conservation lakes, there ain't no telling what you're gonna catch. I'm after crappie and catching big bass. Hey, that just goes to show you, them sausage pins are the real deal. Look at here, come here, boy. Show me your teeth. Hmm. Hey, Andrew, I got your boy right here. They out there fishing them tournaments, you ought to get you some of these sausage pins. Hey, when you size down, man, look at that big old healthy bass. Woo! Man, here you go, little buddy. Thanks for the fun, man. Six pound test, catching four pound bass. Not a bad deal. Hey, but I love my job. <laughs> Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Visit Mississippi. Wanderers welcome. Powerful. Total boat control. Balls out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on. Challenge your limits. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Come in here, darling.
what I'm talking about. Come in here, darling. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Slab Daddy. Hey, stuck that puppy right in the bottom of the lip. <laughs> he hit it coming up when I was pulling it. Just barely had him hooked. Oh, that's a nice little fish right there. No, I'll tell you. It's the rod and the technique that I'm using. When I started out this morning, I was pitching at them and swimming it and pitching at it, swimming it. They're so far down in that structure right now, I'm having to use this nine foot rear seat pro target by Luz. I'm telling you, it is the bomb because it has a fast tip, a lot of backbone, it's got the wind grips, and I've got it loaded up with my brand new 2023 Wally Marshall Pro Target spinning reel. 11 ball bearings, baby. We're talking about top of the line, catching these slabs like this. Mm-hmm. Well, hit it like you live. Cut followed it all the way up to the top. Little, little black crappie. You know, the difference between a white crappie and a black crappie, the black crappie, the specks run along his body and a white crappie, I'll show you in a minute, the stripes run down his body like this. But this is a black crappie right here where the specks are running long ways on the fish. Here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Come on in here, white crappie. Oh, a perfect example right there. Yeah. Tell you. Like I was telling you about black and white crappie, this crappie right here has stripes on it. This is a white crappie. The black crappie had specks down along its body. This crappie's got the stripes. You can see them going like this right here. Right there, buddy. Hey, thanks, little man. Hey, y'all, welcome to my favorite part of the show, the Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. Uh, this segment's Brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Arneson with Ugly Fishing. You can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. You can book online as well as some money saving opportunities on the homepage uh, with Pure Flats Fishing, creator of the Slick Lure, LureNet.com, and Salt's Gone. Fishing around here, Alabama, Mississippi, and Coast has been waterlogged. We've gotten a tremendous amount of rain, thunderstorms, west winds, everything that is aided towards making fishing difficult. Uh, we've been we've been dealt with it uh, here lately. Uh, I would say in the coming days, uh, as the rain chances taper off and we're able to get out and enjoy the Mobile Bay and the and uh, Mississippi Sound and coastal Mississippi, uh, look for your deeper structures, uh, your deeper reefs to to continue to be pretty consistent. Live shrimp and croaker. Uh, we're working well before all the rain and I would see there's no reason for that to change. Uh, shallow water areas, I'd probably avoid getting really close to the uh, tidal creeks and rivers because you're going to have a huge influx of fresh water coming out. But if you can kind of find where there's a little mix of fresh and salt water, uh, those are probably going to be some high profile areas. You should have some bait along those areas as well as those predatory fish that we're all trying to target. Well, the Georgia area, Tim Cole, Spartina Adventures. He said that the speckled trout and the flounder bite is pretty good. He said that drifting uh, corks with uh, shrimp and, and mud minnows around uh, heavy structure, oysters and such are, are being real productive for those uh, flounder and trout. As well as on the beaches, he said the big jacks, tarpon, and uh, triple tail are along the beaches, as well as sharks in kind of all the areas as bycatch. Hey, y'all, thanks for checking out this report. Keep what you need. Leave the rest. God bless, guys. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lose, Feel the Difference, Mamba Boats, Ride with Pride, Strike King, Taiwan On, Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. <laughs> Look at that right there, boys. He got it sucked all the way down in there.
It is so smooth. Look at that drag. Mm -hmm. Come on, be about a two and a half pounder. What are you, buddy? What are you? Ooh, what a crappie. What a crappie. Ugh. Ugh. He's got it sucked way down in there. Mmm. Mmm. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at that right there, boys. He got it sucked all the way down in there. Yee. Man, can you believe that? Now you talking about a sausage head. This is a sausage head. Man, you know, back in the day in Garland, Texas, I was a plumbing superintendent and I fished a tournament with Joel Peacock down at Cedar Creek Lake. Then he went on a boat, I was wade fishing. And man, you talking about 300 teams in a crappie tournament. It was called Crappie Thon. And uh, Joel and I won the first tournament ever held in the state of Texas. And I'm telling you folks, ever since then, it's been one heck of a ride. Trademarking Mr. Crappie in 1997 and uh, still out here doing it today. I'm gonna let this big fish go. I love crappie fishing. I live for the thump, man. And you know, Lynn Reeves at Lou's decided he wanted to get into crappie business, so I tied up with Lynn and had a great run with Lou's, and I'm still with Lou's, designing some of the finest crappie products on the market today. And I design all, I'm very blessed, I get to design all of the Strike King uh, baits also. I come up with the Joker, the, oh man, that big dog come out of that pile. He's still after it, but he ain't got it. Uh, but, you know, I designed the Shad Pole, Crappie Thunder, Joker, Slabalicious. It's a lot of fun, man, being able to get to do what I get to do on a daily basis in the fishing industry under the Mr. Crappie brand. And with guys like Andrew and these other guys out here that give me opportunities to be on their shows, man, it's an honor to be on Lift Fish TV. And I'll tell you, this has been one heck of a crappie trip. Ooh, ooh, this one could be nice. This one could, ooh, yeah, mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, mm-hmm. Come on up in here, Daddy-o. Come on up in here, come on up in here. Ooh, that's a big old fish, mm-hmm. Nice, nice, thick. Man, that's pretty. Whew. I'll tell you what, folks. I have had one heck of a day catching big crappie, little crappie, big bass. But hey, that's what you get in small reservoirs. You know, you got a little bit of mix of everything. Some catfish, some chug heads, some brim. But hey, these old crappie right here, are like freight trains. You seen that sucker out there pulling? And they're all hitting that crappie thunder. Who that is the color with the chartreuse head on that sausage pin. Boy, that's a pretty fish. Hey, until next time, I'm gonna do a Jimmy Houston. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system.
Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor. Powered by passion. Glacier Outdoor. Outdoors since 1982. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get right on over to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Philip would like to know, what can I do to ensure my young son has a positive fishing experience? For an answer, we asked Bass Master Elite Angler, Mark Menendez. First and foremost, as a dad, don't push. Put your rod down. Help him. Go to a farm pond where he gets lots of bites quickly. That's the key. Keep that interest for that young person in fishing. Or your daughter. Your daughter can catch them too. Make sure that the techniques that he's using are not complicated. Make it simple. Make it a Ned rig, make it a spinner bait, something that he can wind to keep his interest. And when he's tired and he wants to quit fishing and play in the mud and catch a few crawfish or chase the dog down the lane, let them do that. Fish in short terms, short minutes, on their pace, and your son will love fishing just like your daughter will. Thank you so much, Mark. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com, follow that Ask the Pro link, and submit your very own question. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. The bait we were using today uh, was the sausage spins. The sausage spin is actually the head with the, with the willow leaf blade. This is a great swivel. It turns great at slow speeds. I really don't want it to spin. I want it to make a little clicking noise like shad and bait fish, and it really attracts crappie in stained water like we were in today. We were in like muddy to stain. And I was using an eighth ounce sausage pin loaded up with a lure that I designed 21 years ago, the Crappie Thunder. It has 24 tentacles and it's a solid body and we make it in about 18 or 19 different colors now. And this is the color called the Hoodat. I was loading it up with that Mr. Crappie six pound test it breaks it to eight and a half pounds tensile strength, and I like using the high vis line because I like I'm a line watcher, and it helps me catch more fish. Hey, on today's show we were using the Wally Marshall Pro Target series. We make this series from all the way from six foot six all the way to 16 foot in length, but on the rear seat models we have an eight foot, nine foot, 10, 11, and 12, and I like the nine foot model. And with this rear seat, I've got it loaded up with the new coming out this summer at ICAST, it'll be ready this fall, the new Wally Marshall spinning reel, 11 ball bearings, five two to one ratio. I'm talking about a sweet reel and the drag is amazing. If you noticed on the show today, I had that drag set to where, hey, you get a big fish on, you give them a little bit of drag and you're not ripping that membrane in that crappie's mouth. Hey. The Wally Marshall Pro Targets by Lou's are awesome, brother. Super lightweight, it's an all-day rod. With this nine-foot rod, I can pitch, flip, dip, skip, fish, bobbers, do it all. Hey, see you next time on Let's Fish TV.